Good evening and welcome to City National Arena. And this is a huge two-game series because the Rebels have lost seven straight road games. Back out to the point. Here's Pepe. Pepe shot, deflection, score. 30, 21 seconds left in a power play. Backhander, backhander score! And that's going to be your hockey game. Game two of this two-game weekend series between the UNLV Skate and Ribbles and the Seawolves of Stony Brook. Blocked in front, and that one didn't get blocked in front. They score again. Stony Brook has scored three goals in about 40 seconds. UNLV has us completely imploded here at City National. And we'll definitely see you back here against Jamestown. And Jamestown is a top team. In the UNLV end, 10 seconds to go. Jimmy's might have one opportunity. Great job there by Underwood, harassing. There is no chance for the Jimmys to get a shot off, and that's going to do it. And UNLV breaks a nine-game losing streak as David Anderson walks into the Orleans Arena and shuts out his former team. Team was struggling going into Christmas break. We had just dropped a lot of games in a row. We knew we had to go reset. Uh, everyone just kind of took the time to enjoy their families, and we knew what we had to do when we got back. Our first games back were actually at the Orleans. It was a ton of fun that entire week, getting able to practice in the building. Uh, we actually ended up splitting that weekend. The first game, uh, we had a new goalie transfer in his semester, David Anderson, who got the start against his old team and shut him out in his first game to end our long losing streak there. So we knew there was still work to be done, but we were on the right track. This was a huge game because there was a point, if I'm being honest, there was a point where I thought, you know, maybe this team, although has a lot of talent, you know, maybe they're a year away. Maybe the national title is not within their reach this year. And, you know, I mean, those are the things that kind of go through your head with a 11-game losing streak. We started to get down on each other, but, you know, after the break, we picked it back up, came back, talked to the leadership core. We knew we just had to, you know, bear down. Got some pretty experienced guys in the team. We've been here for, you know, four, some of us five years. So we came back. The boys, uh, we, we kind of knew we just had to dial it in. So after we played Jamestown and then split with them and they kind of snapped that losing streak, we headed to the Minot series in, in Grand Canyon. And our backs were against the wall, essentially, knowing that we had to win a game like that, sitting outside, you know, the, the national championship tournament picture. Was special and you could feel it. There was a buzz in the air in the NFL playoffs for that day. We didn't play in a normal rink. We went from uh, the rink that they normally play on to the next door rink at CNA. And you know, there was just a different vibe to the game. And I had the chance to call the game right next to the Minot bench. Well, good early afternoon and welcome to City National Arena. For Skating Rebel Hockey as the 23rd ranked Skating Rebels take on the third ranked Beavers of Minot State. And you could literally feel the start of the game, there was a little bit of an overconfidence. Um, you felt like it was kind of a, not a serious atmosphere, but as the game went on, you could see the seriousness take hold of all their players' faces, and they knew that they were in for a rough day. Minot's a team that usually jumps out from the get-go and they, they play pretty physical and kind of shove the puck down your throat and that was our plan to pretty much do exactly what they do against them. And we scored three quick goals and you know you could tell that the Minot players were, were getting pretty down on themselves and they were, were, were giving up a little bit. You know, my lot, they're always very well coached. They got a great program there and Wade does a phenomenal job. And when you play a team like Minot and you go up 3-0, um, you expect them to battle back, and, and they definitely did. You know, at one point it was three to two, and um, you know our goaltender gets kicked out of the game, and um, you know we have to have David Anderson come in and, and close it out. You bring in a cold goalie off the bench who, you know, hadn't played that game and wasn't expecting to play either. Uh, for him to step in and help us seal the deal was huge. You know, you talk about momentum, and, and momentum is not an intangible. Momentum is not something that you can, you know, you can point to and say, well, there it is. Momentum is something that overcomes. 
around you and you feel it and finally you feel like you have the better of your opponent. And that's exactly what was going on in that second game against mine on it. We almost just saw unstoppable. Yeah, yeah and you, you could feel it too because we knew that's that's the best we could play was that game. And after that weekend, we were pretty much like, all right, yeah, we're winning 90s. Final score from City National Arena, the 23rd ranked UNLV Skate and Rebel 6, number three, Minot State 3. And this is a signature win for this program this season. So after the Minot series, we we still had a ton of confidence, obviously, and I think that we maybe lost two games out of the next ten. You know, we swept Arizona State pretty big at home, which was nice, as, as them being one of our, our bigger rivals. Uh, there's a lot of variables going into the tournament, but at that point in time, we were as confident as any team, uh, knowing that we could escape with anyone, knowing that we could compete with anyone, and then, uh, you know, the pandemic hit, and that kind of changed things. The warning from the CDC, the coronavirus is spreading so quickly it may only be a matter of time before it begins rolling across the U.S. with the potential to become a pandemic. Now to growing concerns about coronavirus officially hitting the U.S., here's what we know. Across America, over 100 million people are now in some form of lockdown. This astounding and unprecedented story continues to evolve. NBA is suspending the season. Breaking news continuing here on CBS Sports. The NHL just announcing that they are pausing the season due to the coronavirus. Moving forward into this year, we had a lot of guys come back and exercise their fifth year um, with the feeling and sense of unfinished business. You know, there are teams that compete for national championships, and it's not because, well, they beat the rival. In order to truly be at a point when you can win a national title and you can compete year in and year out for that. It's not about having a rivalry with another team. It's about the rivalry that's inside the locker room. This team was as good and as strong as I've ever seen it in all the years doing uh, UNLV hockey. You know, I really would have liked to have seen where that would have gone.